गंगा का पूरा श्रेय मैं आदरणीय मोदी जी को देता हूँ जनता ने कांग्रेस की बात को नकारा भारतीय जनता पार्टी की बात को उन्होंने सराहा स्वीकार किया निराशाजनक बात है ये लेकिन अब हमको इन सब बातों को देखते हुए नए सिरे से आगे सोचना होगा मुझे जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों की खिदमत करने का दोबारा एक मौका जो है हासिल हुआ है मुझे इस बात की खुशी है कि जिस तरह से लोगों ने वोट किया एक स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट के लिए तो जो इसमें गड़बड़ करने का कोई चांस नहीं अब हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इलेक्शन एक्सचेंज एंड व्हाट अ डे हैज इट बीन Uh, the bjp has managed to buck the trend in uh, haryana they've managed to uh, win the election there for a third consecutive time this is a setback definitely for the congress party all pollsters were expecting the congress to win this election in fact senior leaders from the congress party were also camping in delhi hoping to be uh, playing an important role in the appointment of the next chief minister but nayab singh saini the sitting chief minister from the bjp in haryana managed to take the bjp across the finish line probably what impacted the congress was in fighting uh, having said that vinesh pogat's win in the haryana assembly election was a silver lining for the congress party pupinder singh huda also won his seat clearly a lot of introspection there that the congress will have to do in jammu and kashmir it was a clean sweep uh, in a way for uh, the national conference and the congress party in the valley yes the national conference and the congress have comfortably won the election in jammu and kashmir farooq abdullah has said that uh, umar abdullah is all set to be the next chief minister of the state uh, the bjp swept the jammu region but could not open its account in the kashmir valley aam aadmi party was able to open its account in kashmir for the first time so that indeed is important for the india alliance so to say let me uh, go across to our guests right now we've got dr koshal kant mishra of the bjp joining us uh, kartik e batra political analyst is also with us let me go across to uh, koshal kant mishra at this point what do you think really worked for the bjp in haryana this time around uh, would you say that the losses that the nda had suffered in the lok sabha elections made the party go back to the drawing board and some way the rss the bjp combined has been able to put its act together to some extent um first of all every win is a new win and it give always a new life to any organization so the bjp also so but the win of uh, haryana is not only the win of Uh, party itself it is a win of uh, haryana uh, public uh, it's the uh, haryana local uh, leaders mainly uh, uh, nayab singh saini ji along with the policies of uh, pradhan mantri modi ji uh, jp nadda ji and uh, whole organization is working for the bjp and the public has given the full support in haryana and yes it is it it will uh, it's always uh, win is always give a new life so yes it's good for us it is good boost for us and uh, we are confident that because of our uh, great policies our nationalistic attitude our sabka saath sabka vikas sabka prayas and sabka vishwas policy double engine sarkar all acts together and most important the people of the haryana we are thankful to everyone whosoever is helped the, this one all right let me also go across to dr kartike batra dr batra uh, how do you see this victory for the bjp it was a narrow margin at the end of the day the bjp will comfortably form the government with these uh, current numbers but would you say that the infighting within the congress especially between the kumari shelja camp and the bhupender singh huda camp both of whom felt that their leader should be the chief minister do you think that has impacted the congress's results thank you parikshit uh, parikshit i think that narrow in the sense of the vote share and i'm glad you brought, brought brought that up because in terms of the number of seats it might look that you know there's a 13 seat gap or 12 seat gap but in terms of vote shares is hardly anything the bjp is just above the congress right um 
I don't think there's one reason that one can pinpoint as to why the Congress lost. It's definitely an election that the Congress lost more than the BJP won, I would say. Why? I think we'll have to look into that. It seems to me there's a bunch of factors. I think one you identified that probably it wasn't the most united front. Second was the over-reliance on one sort of community and, uh, you know, leaders from that particular community. And sort of whenever that happens, there's always a fear that other communities might give you some uh, backlash. In the Lok Sabha election, that was kind of softened because the SC community came towards the Congress along with the Jat community. Uh, this time around, it seems that the, that that did not materialize in the way that it, it materialized in the Lok Sabha election. I also feel that the BJP played its cards really well in terms of tactically attacking certain seats, certain areas. So, for example, in, in, in Jat-dominated areas where it knew that it won't win by itself, it played a strategic game by fielding independence and other parties. Look at Sonipat district, for example. Sonipat, Rotak, Jajara seats are areas where the Huda family dominates. But look at what has happened in Sonipat district. The Congress has lost four out of six seats, if I'm not wrong. And one of the reasons behind that was that the BJP very tactically supported independent candidates in all these seats and made sure that either the BJP sailed through or on the independent sailed through, denying the Congress a victory. The BJP stuck to its strongholds which it wasn't expected to, like the GT Road Belt. South Haryana is expected to do well. It has repeated its performance. One should not miss the fact that the Congress has gained hugely in terms of vote share. It's an 11 percentage point gain for the Congress from the last election. But given that Haryana has turned bipolar, it wasn't enough for the Congress to move from 31 to 45, 46. And despite increasing its vote share by 11 percentage point, it has lost to the BJP, which was able to increase its vote share by... Uh, roughly three percentage points, I would say. But its seats improved from 40 to 49 or 50. And that is the new paradigm of Haryana politics where it's a bipolar polity dominated by the BJP and Congress, which together this time got 80% of the votes in contrast to the 65% votes that they got together last time. So a lot has happened in Haryana. There's a lot of churning that has happened. The complete demise of the JJP and uh, to some extent the INLD's fortunes. Uh, so much to unpack, but here are some of the reasons why the Congress did not do as well. All right, uh, great analysis there, uh, Karthike. Let me also go across to uh, advocate Arshpreet Khadial at this point from the Congress party. Uh, Arshpreet, uh, both uh, good news and bad news for uh, the Congress party. Let me start with Haryana. What uh, is the number one reason or lesson uh, that you can give to us that the Congress is picking up from this election in Haryana. What went wrong? Well, uh, the Bharti Janta Party is definitely good at marketing. They tend to market things which they do not even do, they do not even deliver. And on the other hand, the Congress Party does not market the things that we have done back in the day. So that's one major difference. That's one USP of the Bharti Janta Party to market to do branding, to do advertising of the things which they haven't even done, and to now, propagate it. To the fact that the BJP head. is good at marketing, yeah. that has now been said for the last 10 years. Uh, the Congress knows that for the last 10, 11 years. Uh, but wasn't this a chance? You started off this election campaign for winning the Haryana election with an edge. It was advantage Haryana, uh, Haryana for the Congress party. But somehow the Congress did not cash in on that advantage. It's always easy to say that BJP is good at marketing, but what is it that Congress could have done better? Well, that's what I'm saying, that the Congress definitely could have done better marketing. Congress definitely could have done better advertising. That's one. Number two, I think at the end of the day, what matters is that the democracy should win. We all saw how there was a delay in uh, the display of the latest trends by the Election Commission, and therefore we had to file a complaint with the Election Commission of India. However, we were expecting a quick response, a, res uh, a resolution to that, and it went unaddressed. That's one. Number two, uh, we all saw how the Bharti Janata Party was talking about, the Congress Party would talk of EVMs, they'll put it on the EVMs, etc. I remind them that at the very first instance, it was the Bharti Janata Party senior leader, Mr. Advani, who had questioned the very EVMs back in the day when the BJP was in the opposition. That's one. Number two. Uh, the Bharti Janata Party also needs to uh, answer to these civil, former civil servants who have said that uh, the BEL company which manufactures the EVMs, the BJP leaders are on the board. 
And number three, no independent entity till date has been able to audit the EVMs. And number four, no paper trail there is uh, with the EVM. And back in the day, Mr. Advani had also questioned the same thing. Number five, now what matters is that uh, we have uh, one Jammu and Kashmir. We, have, we are going to be forming government there. And uh, we, we need to see two things. Jammu and Kashmir has international significance. We need to see that as well. Uh, the, the people of Jammu and Kashmir have rejected the politics of the Bharti Janta Party. They feel neglected. They feel ignored. That the Bharti Janta Party, let alone talking to us, addressing our grievances, did not even visit us. Mr. Modi, in the last five years, visited Jammu and Kashmir how many times? Not more than twice. If I'm not wrong, once. Number two, Mr. Amit Shah had back in the day promised after the abrogation of Article 370, terrorism would come to a grinding halt. The people uh, can see that they are a victim to that. It, it's on the rise. And number three, delay in restoration of statehood, yeah. delay in elections, and then the Bharti Janta Party's leaders uh, ignoring it. This all became a factor as to why Jammu and Kashmir right. out with the Bharti Janta Party for good. And Haryana, Arshpur. one important point for Haryana, if I may, Mr. Anil Vich today also said that I should have been the CM face. And back in the day, he said, I should have been the CM back in the day as well of the party because I have the most amount of experience and the most visionary and the tallest leader there is on the Bharti Janta Party. And the Kamal that is there in between is now between a tug of war. From one hand, it's it's Mr. Anil Vij who's pulling it. On the other hand, it's Mr. Saini who's pulling it. And on the third hand, okay. it's Mr. Khattar pulling it. I'm going to request you to hold on to that thought. I'll get a, I'll get a final quick question. Uh, from the BJP spokesperson. We'll take a break, but then we'll focus on Jammu and Kashmir. You raised some more strong points about JNK. We'll come back to that. But before we take a break, let me put that question to Dr. Kaushal Kant Mishra. Dr. Kaushal uh, Mishra, today the Congress is again saying that uh, uh, there is something wrong with the EVMs. The counting had been slow today. Uh, they are saying there are internal differences within the BJP. How would you respond? Very quickly before we take a break. I will respond that Congress, Congress, Congress has uh, uh, come back to square one only. It already uh, came to the EVM and is, uh, started uh, questioning on the constitutional authorities as uh, Congress always do. But in spite of all the negative point whatsoever is told by Congress spokesperson, Haryana government, Haryana uh, public has chosen the BJP. This is the reality and this is the truth. And that is why Haryana government is saying happy Diwali, happy Durga Puja and happy Chhat to whole country by making BJP win. In spite of all the negative th thoughts, in spite of your all the negative publicity all over the globe, what is the cause of uh, this result? The most important is Haryana is made of what you call Jawan Kisan Pahalwan, but you use there your shoulders for your politics, and that is the main point where you got defeated by the Haryana public okay. itself. So check about yourself. Rahul okay, Gandhi Dr. going Dr. outside Kaushal the Gandhi country, Shah, we got telling break right now against the India. That is the myth. All right, we're going to take a break, uh, uh, Dr. Kaushal Kant Mishra. We'll request all our guests, Dr. Karteke Batra, Advocate Arshpreet Khadial, to join us. We also have Advocate Sarfaraz Vani joining us. We'll take a break and be right back with the analysis on Jammu and Kashmir. Don't go anywhere. Keep watching CNBC TV 18. Welcome back. Uh, we are going to discuss the election verdicts in Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir. Our focus on JNK now, where uh, the Congress and National Conference combined has easily crossed the halfway mark and is all set to form the government. Farooq Abdullah has said that Omar Abdullah, his son, and uh, the former chief minister of the state, also the chief of the National Conference, will take over as chief minister once again. They will now get down to the nitty-gritties of uh, government formation. Let me go across to Advocate uh, Vani, who is also joining us. Uh, Advocate Vani, uh, how do you interpret this result? And what do you think this combine is going to keep on its common minimum program? Well, I think uh, this election after 10 years of direct central rule 
is a big blow to BJP because all this time BJP has been bashing the regional parties uh, on the pretext that they have done nothing in JNK. Now, after after 10 years of bashing by BJP, after all these policies, after uh, abrogation of Article 370, after making us a union territory, at the end of the day, we have the same national conference and the uh, Congress alliance. So this is a big blow to the BJP first. Second, I think that uh, people have uh, uh, voted against PDP particularly because PDP had an alliance with the B BJP the, uh, when in the erstwhile state, the last government we had. So people have voted against PDP and that has helped the national conference because you see the trend, the seats in the South Kashmir, which were a belt of PDP, be it Anatnag, be it Pulwama, be it Kulgam, they have now all gone to NC. So in a sense, people have voted not only against BJP, but they also voted against the PDP. And this has benefited the, the uh, NC Congress Alliance. Hmm. All right, let me go also to Arshpreet Khadial of the Congress Party. Uh, Arshpreet, do you now believe that uh, Omar Abdullah, number one, will be the chief minister of the state of Jammu and Kashmir? Also, will reversing the decision on Article 370 revocation, which had happened in 2019, be in the common minimum program of the two parties? Number one, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Modi, uh, one I would want to say has been uh, quiet. We haven't heard from him. I would want him to uh, definitely have some jalebi because the Bharti Janta Party is apparently... Uh, rule, uh, uh, dominating in one state as of now and uh, on the other hand it's the Congress party in the NC alliance that is dominating the field. So Mr. Modi uh, should uh, try some jalebis, they're good for health, uh, uh, they have uh, very good uh, uh, results uh, when it comes to you know having a good mood, having having feeling good because the Bharti Janata party is definitely not feeling well about Jammu and Kashmir. The big promises, the big things that they had uh, said, mentioned about the people of Jammu and Kashmir, you, you remember one thing, that in 2014, the Bharti Janata Party had given a ticket to a person known by the name of Tariq Ahmed Mir. This person was later on arrested by the NIA for procuring weapons for the Hezbollah Mujahideen commander, Naveed Babu. Then there is a Talib Hussain Shah, an office bearer of the Bharti Janata Party, who was a lashkar e taiba terrorist who was captured by the local residents there in Jammu and Kashmir. Can we really expect justice from the Bharti Janata Party? Can we really expect the Bharti Janata Party to root out terrorism when they have had leaders of such kind who have had such links and who have been indulging in such activities? Then I'd ask them who's Dhruv, Dhruv Saxena. Uh, the Bharti Janata Party is a worker who was found to have links with the ISI. And this very Bharti Janata Party led the ISI to a, a Pathan Kut air, air Base. Mr. Modi went to Pakistan to meet with the former Prime Minister, Mr. Nawaz Sharif. He had Kashmiri chai there, he had biryani there, he sat in his chopper against the protocol. And, and uh, that country is responsible for so many, uh, uh, for our Jawans to have been martyred, and so many of them, and Pulwama attack. Till date, do we know who was responsible for it, who was behind it, and the former governor, Satyapal Malik Sahib, had very clear uh, 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 allegations to make against the Bharti Janata Party. When he was the governor, he said that I was asked for a plane and uh, uh, if, if, if the government had provided our Jawans with a plane, they probably would have been alive. And when I tried to talk uh, to the media about it, the former governor, Satyapal Manik Sab, said he was uh, asked to be quiet. He was asked to stay mum on that issue by the senior leadership of the Bharti Janata Party. This is BJP. That's why they have been ousted from the Jammu and Kashmir. Number two. Okay. Now, okay. Arshpeed, now, I'll request you to hold on. Let me also get in our panelists because we, we just have a little more time left. Uh, Dr. Kartike Batra, uh, how would you see this victory for Jammu and Kashmir National Conference of the Congress and the loss for BJP in the state of JNK? Now, this was a historic election happening after 10 years, the first after the abrogation of Article 370 in 2019. Would you say that somehow the people of Kashmir Valley have rejected uh, the policies of the BJP? Uh, it, the, the state had been under Lieutenant Governor's rule an administrator's rule for the past several years. Do you feel this has been rejected or do you feel that this would have happened in any case? 
Parikshit, it's a split verdict. It's like two different elections that happened. And Kashmir was a different election. Jammu was a different election. And within Jammu, also different types of seats voted very differently. So <clears throat> I think uh, the BJP is not liked in Kashmir, I think is a fact that probably is well known. When I say not liked, I don't mean that there is zero vote share. There is vote share. But the BJP itself knew it and therefore did not field candidates on most of the seats. <clears throat> the candidate, their strategy on these seats was to push independents who would tend the NC Congress Alliance. Uh, but it seems that despite that, the NC Congress Alliance has sailed through primarily because of the NC. Uh, if you look at the performance of the parties uh, across the state, the BJP has swept in the Hindu-dominated seats of Jammu with 29 seats. The NC has swept through the valley with 35 seats and getting seven in Jammu. The Congress, on the other hand, has won just six seats, five in Kashmir and one in Jammu. And if I'm not wrong, um, out of the 46 candidates who have won from uh, the NC plus Congress, I think 44 belong to the Muslim community. And I think just two are from the Hindu community and they're from the NC. So if this government is formed, the representation from Jammu is limited. And within that, the representation from the Hindu community will be very limited. So it will be a very complicated situation uh, because the areas where the Congress was supposed to do well against the BJP uh, in the Jammu region, which are the more Hindu-dominated areas, the Congress has drawn a blank and the BJP has swept those, those particular regions. So I think this verdict is masking a lot of uh, regional uh, sort of differences in the pre in political preferences as far as Jammu Kashmir is concerned. It's not just Jammu versus Kashmir. Even okay. within Jammu, different belts are voted very differently. Right. Let me get an okay. All right. Let me get a final word from Dr. Uh, Koshal. Uh, Dr. Koshal, clearly there were certain regional issues, a lot of layers in the Jammu and Kashmir election, and it'll take some time to peel them one after the other. But if there was one lesson that uh, you would take from the Jammu and Kashmir election, where the BJP needs to do course correction, what would that be? I think uh, Jammu Kashmir is not an issue of uh, election win or defeat. It is an issue for ideology for the Bharati Janta Party and we win in that because after the uh, abrogation of Article 370, in spite of all the odds, do you know the, what is the percentage of voting? 88% maximum to minimum is 41% which was less than 20-25% when there was uh, Article uh, 370 was uh, in place. So it is our win. It is our win when there is a 2 crore uh, ter uh, tourism is there. We, it's our win if there is uh, G20, uh, G20 uh, uh, successfully uh, performed in the Jammu Kashmir. So for Congress and for others, Jammu Kashmir may be the issue of election. For us, it is not an issue of election, it is an issue of nationalism. And that is why we win in spite of everything. It's win of our ideology. It is win of our, our uh, tricolor. Everybody is saying after the abrogation of Article 370, there will be nobody who can carry the uh, tricolor. But you see, everybody, even Congress, Yuvraj and his, uh, her, his sister is, is playing in the Lal Chowk and every place in the Kashmir. It is because of this Modi government only. But most important thing is that in spite of all the odds, Congress is less than those who are the local candidates. The number of total winning seats by the Congress is much, much, much less than what the local candidates are getting. Right. So Congress has to inter, inter, uh, intro, uh, intercept in itself what they are doing and all what right. is their policy. For us, it is win okay, for India, time. it is win uh, of Kashmir, Kashmir, thank you very and much it is win of Kashmir I'd like people. to thank uh, Advocate Vani. Uh, Arshpreet Khadial and Kartike Batra for joining us on Election Exchange. Clearly, lots of learnings from this election. Whether does this uh, say anything about the national picture, we'll have to wait and see how things pan out in Maharashtra and Jharkhand. Those will be very interesting elections as well. And keep tuning in to CNBC TV 18 for uh, more election analysis and uh, economic analysis that impacts these state elections. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.